Welcome to EA Sports. It is Game 6, Elimination Night here in this playoff series. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Puts it on that crowd is going, what happened? Well, if only it started that way all the time, exactly the way the coach would have drawn it up. But you certainly want to dictate pace when you are on the road and you want to take the crowd out of it early. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. Grand Rapids has opened up the scoring in this one, and it didn't take long. What, just seconds into this one here? Well, yeah, when you score in the opening minute of the game, you know that you have started under fire, and typically you want to get everyone into the game early. Well, they don't even have a line change, and they're up one. Here's a shot! a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer and now they find themselves shorthanded. The Griffins will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Hamburg's won the faceoff and now let's see what they can do. Play rolls on. From the blue line, they take control of it. Battle ensues for that loose puck on the boards. And it's a quick pass to Rafferty. And that shot dies in traffic. And he slides it quickly to Rafferty. They are swarming around like bees here in the O zone. And that misses. Oh, and it clears the zone. They'll be forced to regroup. And now he moves it quickly to Johansson. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Big save in front. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. The Griffins get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. A tremendous job by the PK units, James, to get out there and show hard work. This is exactly what it takes to kill a penalty, and they did an excellent job. Rockford's taking possession in their own end. And he takes the pass. Gaining Steve here on the attack. Lead pass ahead. There's a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Moves it quickly over to Fairbrand. Makes a move in front. Decides to think about it. Quick pass to Fairbrand. Fires it, and he blocks Great defensive play. Great time to lose it. Look at that. He landed right on his own bench. Well, you know that the one giving the hit likes this to send a message, send you right over the board into the laps of your teammates. It's embarrassing either way. No question that you got off your feet and you wound up on your bench. The Griffins have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Hootman's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. And he passes it up ahead to Gust. Rocked him in the open ice. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Aston Reese takes it across the line. The Ice Hogs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Taken by Healy. From center, they get into the attacking area. Fires it! What a stop with the paddle! Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Griffins lead it 1-0. 
Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Centering to the middle, and that doesn't connect. Rockford's through center and now in the offensive end. Too much congestion in front. Playing point in the middle of there. Hutchinson's going to elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he hasn't been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Rockford's won the draw, and he gets in the lane to block that. Way too much congestion blocks that. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Just a textbook hit. Scoops up the puck here. The Ice Hogs will play it in their own end. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Hooks it away here in the neutral zone. The Ice Hogs looking against the half wall. Quick feed to battle. Here he is shot in front. Made that stop. Headman pass. the puck over. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Now a quick pass to Allen. And that's intercepted by Luck. The goal is still in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all of those interceptions where they've been in great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Edmondson's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Handles it along the blue line. Here's a shot. A club save on the play. Past the midway mark in this period. The Griffins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Rockford's got a hold of the puck. The Ice Hogs now. Rockford's on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Kaiser. Answered the call there. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Steps in front of that one. Grand Rapids has the puck. Here they come on the attack. Takes the puck at the point. Taken here by Bergeron. Directed over to Cates. Grand Rapids takes possession at center. Bergeron's been tripped up. And, and I guess they won't need that power play after all. Well, it's a delayed call, and it almost looks as that the defensive structure collapsed. Some goal, James. I mean, not in terms of his prettiness, but the desperation and effort to keep the play alive. He's falling to the ice, and he's able to get his stick on it and move it over to the open player, and he's able to cash it in. Now, listen, I'm telling you right now, coaches love this. They'll bottle this up, they'll video it, they'll show it again tomorrow. Why? This is what effort looks like. Rockford's won the draw. Del Mastro's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and he stopped that rocket. Takes the return feed. Shines swooping in on the attack. Grabbed along the board by Del Mastro. Rockford's got it along the wall. He tips it. Oh, a clutch save! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. And they win the draw here in their own end. Here's a short pass to Shine. Grand Rapids plays the puck along the boards. And he makes a save on that play. Moves it to Aston Reese. That knocks him off the puck. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. 
Moves it quickly over to Austin Reese. And Attendee's going to hang on and get a whistle here and a reset, much needed one at that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have just been taking control of in their own zone, James, and they needed this reset. They needed the goaltender to pounce on that puck. They can all collect themselves and get a line change. Hootman's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass to Koopman. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Gettinger. Grand Rapids plays it against the boards. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Cini. And it's a quick pass to Koopman. He's got a step. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Grand Rapids has dominated to this point. They lead it 3-0. Slick feed. Gets has been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Grand Rapids is set to go back to work on the power play. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. And a successful clearing attempt. Scooped up along the wall by Cates. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Grand Rapids looks to break out in their own end. And that's taken away the offensive end by Cirilla. Made the stop on the play. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be scared of the shooter, that's a great save. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. A little four on four coming up here. Not typically that we see four on four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Across the line from center. Quick feed to Bergren. Makes a save. Rockford's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Here's a short pass to Johansson. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. The Griffins open the frame shorthanded. There's still a few seconds left on this penalty that they need to kill off, and they got possession. Center and feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal! Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Lots of time left in this period. Rockford still down by two goals in this one. Putman's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. The Griffins gain possession in their own end. Grand Rapids has it in the defensive end. They've got numbers. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Rockford's crossed the line and on the attack. No room for that one to get through. Nice zone entry. 
entry from the middle. Del Mastro's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Let's get the official decision. The Griffins have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Rockford's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Rockford's got the puck along the wall. And there's the save. Hutchinson's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the piece, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Cuts to the front. The Griffins will kill off a few extra seconds now. Takes the feed. Moves it to Fairbrand. to get it out of the zone. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on and a good aggressive habits there and it leads to the kill. Rockford's got the puck against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Hiroshi. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Lust taking it from his own end. Breakaway! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Takes the feed. The Ice Hogs carry it along the wall. Muffs the shot attempt. And that's a smart heads-up play by Gettinger. Takes the cross-ice pass. Knocked away with the stick by Cates. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Good hit to put him off the puck. Here's the chance! Oh, the Lord! Denied on the breakaway! Oh, he came up clutch there! Well, he really did. Anytime that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. A little crash and banging forces the turnover. Quick pass to Kaiser. Picked up along the boards by Del Masco. And he slides it quickly to Cates. The Ice Hogs take it along the wall. Cates explores his axis in the corner. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And he's taken down the officials arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the call is. The Ice Hogs will serve two minutes in the box. Grand Rapids is ready to go back to work on special teams. Hoopman's won a big draw on their own end. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Can't connect on the play. Slides it diagonally to Cini. And that's turned aside by Hutchinson. The Griffins take it across the blue line. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Kept in at the line. Great heads up play, and the power play continues. Yeah, and frustrating for the PK unit. You get that puck on your stick, you gotta be hard and heavy on it. Quick release and find the open ice to get the clear, James. That's unacceptable. And a good save on the play as action continues. Takes the feed. And the puck to a safer spot. Rockford's penalty is now expired. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up. And you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. Scrum along the boards. Take it along the wall by Luck. Puck grab by Aston Reese. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. There he is from the slot. He scores! Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast.
The Griffins are playing what might be their most impressive performance that I've seen all season, and we're only in period number two, Cheryl. Yeah, I mean, their offense has simply exploded, hasn't it, James? I mean, they have been a force to be reckoned with, and it's a ton of fun when you're padding your stats. Rockford's got the puck along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Puck battle along the boards. Quick feed to shine. Grand Rapids plays along the wing. Comes up with the stop. had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. The Ice Hogs come up with a defensive zone draw. Feeds the puck over to Kindop. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Grand Rapids plays it along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Gettinger. Here's a shot. And makes a save. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Moves the puck. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Here's a short pass to Kindop. Coking up with the stick in the defensive end. Knocked away. Rockford's got control of it now from their own end. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Griffins are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. Grand Rapids wins it. Didier's gonna play it against the half wall. Rockford's got it in their own zone. Strong defensive effort. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. We gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. They gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. The Griffins send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Sends a pass over. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does. He makes a nice save. Reaches out and uses the stick. Up along the wing. The Griffins take it from the side. And puts it out of midair. Rockford's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Gains the zone through center. Takes the pass. Oh, tremendous glove save by Stopper. Gutmann's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Beardrins won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Moves it to Rafferty. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute, but didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Moves it to Gutman. Here's the pass down low. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Sini's got it deep in the offensive end. Can't get it to go. Hutchinson's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. In the final moments of this period, Grand Rapids is playing on another level tonight. They lead it 4-1. Offense is on face up, and he wins the draw. Denies the shooter on that play. Too much traffic in the lane. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. On the attack on the boards. Denies it in front. The Ice Hogs take it across the line. Play blown dead. Let's get the call.
The Griffins are being called for tripping. The power play unit goes right back to work. On the power play so far, they've been real tight to the net, James. They've got to find a way to go low to high and open up that white ice from the point. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. They clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Rockford's moving it into the offensive end. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And they get it out of harm's way. And he can't hang on after that hit. And now he moves it quickly to Tepley. Take the shot. Here's a chance. Big stop just as time expires in the period. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Grand Rapids wins the draw here in their penalty killers. They go right back to work. Rockford's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Sets the feet in front. And he elects not to shoot and to hang onto the puck. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Griffins don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. And with that call, it's a five-on-three man advantage, but for not a lot of time. They've got to attack and drive. They've still got an opportunity to hit strike, not just once, but possibly twice. They've got to find a way to get to the net. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How do we hold on to that? Look at this attack here in the ozone. For another back-to-back saves. Wow! Here's the pass. Here's another feed. Moves it to the half. Griffins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Steps across the blue line. Moves it quickly over. The Ice Hogs haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They've got to find a way to get some chances. Goose has got the puck. Grand Rapids looks to get things going now with the puck. Angles it over to Cini. Denied by the goaltender. The Griffins will play it from the defensive zone. Grabbed along by Del Mastro. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Slides the cross ice pass. Rockford's got possession at center. Shot! Big stop right there. And somehow he hangs on. The Griffins are across the line and into the offensive end. And they continue to apply pressure here. Let's the wrist to fly. Oh, what a save with a glove. Shot. And there's the save. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Griffins move the puck in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Aston Reese. Rockford's got the puck. Quick pass to Lipen. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Referee's signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blows, stopping the play. 
Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Moves it to the middle. Murray comes up with a stop. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Peregrine's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Griffins start with the puck in their own end. They move the puck out of harm's way. Great puck check on the reach. Makes it look easy with the pad. Hutchinson's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the runner to steal the puck. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Allen's lugging the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Ten seconds. Quick feed to Quest. Oh, what a stop by Hutchinson. The Griffins' penalty killers come up huge. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. James, and that's another effective PK. You don't get much better than that, and it's all about read and reacting. You did an excellent job. Puts it in deep. It's got a hold of the puck now. Tries to feed it over to Cates. Moves it around along the house. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Thunderous collision along the boards. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Stubber. What an incredible glove saved by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's a two-goal lead here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. Nice job tying up his opponent. Takes it at center. Ralston's got it along the way. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Slides the puck down low. Grand Rapids has the puck in the corner. And that one's turned away. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Here's a short pass to Sorella. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Rockford's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Moves it to Hiroshi. The Ice Hogs get a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Hiroshi. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. sense of urgency. Watch out. You can feel the wave coming, James. The Ice Hogs find exactly what they were looking for. A goal here late in the third. And this is why your big players, your star players, get paid the big bucks to deliver at the end of the game. And this is going to be a nail butter, James, as we can feel the energy on both sides. Oh, smart heads up play. Hutchinson's going to wait for the whistle, and I don't mind this strategy here, Cheryl. Me neither. I mean, he's having himself a game, isn't he, James? He has been dominant between the pipes, and he knows he needs to pounce on this puck. He looks up at the game clock. They're winning. Not much time left in the third. got to figure out a way to play it safe. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. With possession along the wall. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Tepley. Handles the puck. Shoots 
Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. And that's a great hits up play by Didier. Grand Rapids gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And now it's grabbed by Lestrals. Here's a feed in front. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Pushes it across to Paddock. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They got to find a way to play even strength. Rockford special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. And he can't find the net. Oh, and I like everything about this play until the finish, James. It's all about creating. That's exactly what happens. And then the puck is looking a little fine as it makes its way towards the net, and it misses. The Griffins will play the puck from behind the net. Directs it on over to Gutman. Plays the body into that play. The Ice Hawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. Grabs the puck in the corner. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And they get the puck out. Lesperance is almost out of the box. Power play now. Over both teams back at even strength, and the power play fails to deliver a crucial tie. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the score! An absolutely critical strike here in the third! Yeah, and really important that they didn't get frustrated. They just trusted the process and they found themselves getting the equalizer. Now there's a lot of games to be played to try and win it. Well, I like the effort and intangibles to their game tonight, James. I mean, it has been an uphill battle as they found themselves down in this game. But they continue to battle to chip away. They were urgent on the puck, and now they find themselves getting the equalizer. The Ice Hogs' last goal, Cheryl. Huge. It is massive, isn't it? And the timing is impeccable. Right at the end of the game, you find a way to get the equalizer. And this really puts the opponent on their heels. It tightens up their stick, so they have to attack and find a way to get to the net. The Griffins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Grand Rapids moves ahead with the puck. Quick feed to Bearbrin. Takes a shot. Big time stop by Stubber. And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Slides it up to Cates. The Ice Hogs are on the attack. Great reach with the puck check by Rafferty. And he shut the door on that last play. There's another stop. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. A big face off here inside the offensive end. solves absolutely nothing so we're going to overtime and we'll do it next if you'd like to watch further to some of our players don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event players are back on the ice they're set as of the 
officials overtime. Let's find out. It all comes down to one chance, one shot. Here we go. It's overtime. It's underway. Takes the shot and the save. Another stop by the goaltender. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Grand Rapids with possession in their own zone. And that's stolen by Gutman. emotions on each end of the ice, but I absolutely love this moment, Cheryl. Yeah, I love the tradition, right? Because you've had a hard-fought battle, and there's been a lot of physical engagement on the ice, but you show respect for your opponent in the handshake line. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski saying peace.